want it about Edison. Ahmad, can you just talk about the game you had today and just your, your emotions of playing probably your final college football game? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, all week in practice, uh, we just focused on, you know, executing and doing things as we would in any other week. Um, and it just you know, carried over. I uh, feel so like we practiced good this week. Um, and it just carried over in the game. Um, God stepped up and made plays when they had to make plays. And credit to not just me, but the old lineman, EJ, for making some tough throws um, and tight ends and stuff blocking. Uh, it was just, you know, everybody played a role in how we uh, executed our offense today. Well, what do you do this week after the way you, I don't know, handled every, you know, like what you've been doing the last five, six years, planning for the next week or the next whatever's next? How do you handle this going forward now? Um, you just continue to uh, control what you can control and, and, and work at whatever you can to just get better and stay focused. Um, and, and that's really it. Not, not really doing too much, you know. Uh, of course, taking care of your body, but just, you know what I'm saying? Like just staying on part of your schedule and just doing the thing that you originally do. And, just staying on track and not getting too sidetracked over that. Tomorrow, what was the conversation like leading up to the week and before you took the field for your last game? I mean, the support was tremendous from my teammates, from all the other seniors, the coaches, um, everybody in the building just supporting the seniors this week, supporting the team this week, as we do all, uh, all season. Um, so it was just a carryover what we do every week. Uh, of course, the emphasis on this week was the seniors and stuff, but I mean, we care about everybody on the team. Everybody matters. So uh, it was just another week of, you know, just practicing and trying to get a win. Did you take it in yet? Uh, I mean, I don't I'm just, I was just happy to be out there. I still feel like I got a couple more games, but um, that's just the competitive in me and just one to, you know, always go out there and compete, so. EJ, can you just talk about where you see yourself, you know, your first two college seasons in now? Yeah, I mean, it's just been, it's been a fun ride, I think. I mean, just coming in, starting last year as a freshman, just a lot of, a lot of room to grow. I think these past two years have just been a bunch of experiences for me, but obviously some ups and downs, some things I've had to handle. Just had a great team around me and guys that helped lean on me when I was, when I was in those positions as a young guy. And just, this year's had a lot of fun. Definitely some room, room for improvement for the future, but it's a lot of fun. Adrian, last year, the final game, they felt like, at least for me, I don't know if you felt like things were so close, right? Things were so close to really turning it, and it never really turned. Do you feel as close right now where the team is as a whole heading into this offseason compared to last year? I think so, yeah. I think we've been through a lot this season. Make no excuses. Just a lot of stuff that hasn't gone our way. I think as a team, we just we realize that and we see where we can improve, where we can grow this offseason, and just get back to work is the main thing. We're all just ready to get back into this offseason and just – Try to turn around for next year. We'll, we'll learn from these things that we've had to go through, and it'll make us stronger on the back end. Did having some plays out of the running game make things? We would hope it would have loosened things up a little for you today. I don't know if it necessarily did, but what did that impact things? Yeah, we ran the ball well. I mean, started up front with the lineman, um, getting getting man on a man, and just those backs making a lot of guys mess, breaking tackles. So it was definitely good to have that run game, especially early. Opened up big, gave us some momentum. Um, definitely something to lead into for the future. I know it's not an excuse, but since you've been the quarterback, you've been basically you've had a different offensive line combination basically every game. Can you just talk about from your perspective how difficult that can be? I mean, again, no excuses. It's football. Players get hurt. So no matter who's in front of me, i got to trust them. they got to trust me. At the end of the day, it's, it's what's going to happen. It's a sport. It's a rough sport that we play. So just got to do my job, not focus too much on, on who's in this week. Just make sure that we're all on the same page no matter what and that we're all ready to go. EJ, what's your biggest takeaway from this season? Again, just like we said, how... Just a lot of down points that, that we didn't expect to happen, we didn't want to happen, uh, didn't reach our goals, but something that we can lean on and, and grow in the future. I think it makes it sweeter um, on the back end once we turn this thing around, uh, all the stuff we've had to go through and, and just spending time with all these guys, love this team, just being there with every single day, working this whole season, um, just getting back ready to go. You had tons of fourth downs today, uh, not necessarily very efficient on it. Anything on the fourth down plays that wasn't, wasn't working? Nothing in particular. They just play good defense, stop us on those plays. We just got to capitalize. Um, we got we moved the ball well. We just didn't capitalize on those fourth downs in the red zone. Is there anything different that you want to do um, throughout the last all season, this all season going forward? 
Um, I mean, kind of the same thing, just changing my body, getting bigger, stronger, faster, and then just being around the guys, um, working hard, getting in the film room just so that we can come back next year and, and have a better season, reach our goals that we want to reach. So nothing too much different. I'm not going to change too much, ready to get back to work. Well, there's been a couple plays where you were ahead of the field and then they caught you. Uh, what was your thinking as that guy was right on your tail probably for the last 25 yards on that one? I can't get off this time. Couldn't get off this time. And I, um, uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, something that we work in practice, is a scramble drill. And um, EJ did a good job scrambling out the pocket. O-line did a good job holding up. Um, and he found me down the field, and I just had to finish the play. Okay. Oh, ah, thanks, Chris. Thank you. It was EJ. What? It was EJ. Yes, one more question. You mentioned what you're on next year, so playing. Man, just please don't ask for that right now. Just let it, just focus on these seniors, focus on the season, focus on this game. We'll see what happens.